Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mixed Media tutorial we're going to be talking about how to add some color contrast to your sort of monotone-ish looking scene. So inside of DaVinci Resolve we've got this shot here and you can see everything's sort of this same tint. We've got, you know, obviously some color contrast going on here now. Our skin is different than our leaves and stuff out here which is different from here but all, all in all it's just sort of, if we bring the saturation up, it's all this sort of Know, one thing and you, know, you see it's all sort of just right here you know which is it's a look if you're going for that but I'm not going for that to actually leave some scopes up for some of this I'm gonna do a little bit of scopey thing so you see I'm not normally one to just automatically make the highlights go to white but if you see you're clipping your histogram that's normally a good sign that those whites should be whites so I'll just bring this up and now that is what I've found to be the easiest way to just sort of manipulate the overall dynamic range of your footage. And you can see none of these dark parts really should be all the way black. So I'm going to leave these pretty much lifted. I might bring them in a bit and then add a little bit of contrast here just to sort of get some extra detail out. But you can see, you know, we're just sort of evening it out, which is nice. And actually the scopes are going to be pretty good for a lot of this. I'm going to switch to a two-up display and change a waveform to a vector scope and just bring it down here-ish. That looks good. So we're going to do all this grade in one node just because I feel like doing something different and it'll be fun. So you can see still that um, it's all sort of this one tone. It looks, you know, decent. It's not like a terrible looking shot, but it could be, you know, it could look a little nicer. So what we're going to do to separate our subject from our background some so we can actually go into our hue versus hue curves and these are some of my favorite tools in resolve if you know how to use these you're going to be a lot faster and, and just in general better than a lot of people in my opinion these are really powerful and a lot of a lot of partners don't have this so it's a really good thing or if they do they aren't as easy to use as this so we're going to first of all i'm just going to show you picking this we get i want an okay color here but we're going to use some bigger bigger corrections. So I'm going to, you see, if we move this down, you know, we get alien lady, which is cool. But if we move it up, we start to get, you know, sunburn. But if we just move it up a little bit, you can see, there we go. Now we're starting to get much nicer tones in there. So see with it and without it, you see, we're getting much nicer stuff going on here. And then since these, you know, greenery bits are reading a little bit, a little bit yellow, we can pull this down and now they're nice and green. And look at how much more Ali stands out from the background. You can go crazy with this if you want, which is cool, but it's not what this shot is going for. So now you can see before and after she's really, you know, this is a world of difference. You just get so much more clarity with Ali right there, which is great and super nice. You can see the whole correction. You know, it's not as crazy as some of the ones I normally do, but it's really nice. And the last thing I probably do to this is this was shot on the Ursa Mini 4K, which I've since learned does not handle highlights real well. So what I will do is I'll normally do this in a different node, but we're keeping everything in one node today because, you know, hardcore Henry. So you're going to drop down to glow and just drag that right on top. See, that's already pretty nice. We're going to make this a smaller radius glow so it looks more like, you know, the sensor's blooming than anything else. So you're going to bring the spread down. We're going to make it really bright just so we can really see what we're doing first. That and the opacity. Just so now you can really see what's going on. That's kind of cool. So that's about the shape we want. But we're going to bring our brightness down. A little bit. We're going to tint this just a smidgen, you know, warm, just so we're sort of adding in a little bit of color back. We're going to bring the opacity you know, down a bit. Now that background's still, you know, a little hot for me, but, you know, we've lost data, so what can you do? And Ali still looks nice, so 99% of the people that would watch this would say, oh, that looks, that looks great, especially when you can, especially when you compare it beforehand, you know, you're some sort of color genius. So that's why I hire a colorist because they make your stuff look not like garbage. Because so many people, so many people see 
and the footage out of a camera like, oh, that looks great. So, you know, really work on trying to figure out what footage needs um, in order to, to make it look better because that's a very valuable skill. And then if you're on set, you can apply that and do more of it in camera, which is great. Um, so yeah, little tangent off there at the end. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more exciting videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Media YouTube channel and hit that little bell just so you're actually notified of, you know, when things happen. Also, be sure to check out mistymedia.com slash products. We have all sorts of good stuff. I'm playing with some LUTs now just because I'm seeing how much I can talk and grade at the same time. So, you know, why not? And finally, be sure to check out the links for social media in the description below. I'm trying to get better at that, but, you know, I'm too, I'm too old for social media. I'm not, I'm not in, that, in that game. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. I love playing around with some, some extra LUTs. So anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Meese New Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.